Welcome back. It's time for our annual instalment of Nut Shottery. This pantsless fella has decided early morning river diving will wake him up. Some people drink coffee. This is what he does to get a buzz going. He sprints in, launches onto a bin and buggers it. Crikey, he's hurt both his crack and sack with that one. If the water's cold, it's a good ice pack though. Let's play a game of who's going to get the cricket ball in the balls. The batsman deflects it. The bowler catches it. The batsman deflects it again. No! Right in the stumps. Middle wicket obliterated. Oh, fuck me. I'm not sure if I should be worried about the Pogo stick or the fence? Oh, definitely the pogo stick. It's not the initial nut shot that's the worst thing here. It's the spring-loaded double tap that's going to ruin his fertility. What is it with drunkards and jumping over things or onto things that they know could result in pain and a limited ability to use your dick in future? There's a car. He's up, he's down. Oh, I reckon that's another crack and sack combo. I mean, I don't want to check it, but I reckon it is. Just because it's daytime and you're outdoors, it doesn't mean your balls have intoxication immunity. Like, yeah, you, you might think you're light as a feather standing next to a mountain, but you're not. You're still an idiot. You're still drunk. You've still got a very vulnerable, soft, squishy sack. Let's go back to sober people. I think I'm in safe hands with this guy. Fuck! Nah, sober people are dickheads too. Confirmed. Here we go. Big, flippy, spinny. Nice. Oh, the padding made it worse. That Big fuck off squishy corner increased the surface area that collided with his bloody family jewels, turning it into a flat sack. Somehow that's as bad as a concrete bollard. Maybe, probably not. This bloke is putting away a trestle table. How's this result in a nutcracker? Oh dear lord! He pinched it! He pinched it! Fuck me to hell and back! This one makes me want to spew, because you can imagine the pain, that pinchy feeling on the tip of your penis glands, or your foreskin, whatever you've got. Frosted Tips bloke is showing off to some Sheilas. Oh, speaking of tips, Winston Surf Shirt has a sore one. Gee whiz, he took that board right in the vast deference. I love how the Sheilas don't give a toss. They're like, what just happened? A fiberglass vasectomy? No big deal. Ah, oh, oh, look, it's Rochelle. Hey, queen. What does this fella's sign say? Do I want to know? Two dollar nut shots. Bugger me. All right, let's 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 keep a tally, shall we? Here we go. First up, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog is traumatised in the background. Oh, fuck me. Bloody, what have we got? Six dollars. That's a pint of lager. Then ten dollars. Twelve dollars. That's an IPA. That's a session ale. It's a craft beer. Now we're getting into scotch territory. Sixteen dollars. He's hurt, though. He, he must be dickless or running purely on adrenaline. Oh, we wah, we wah, we wah. Look, he's outside the pub. $22. Espresso martini. Ter- fucking hell. Fucking. Oh, there's a jug of beer for the boys. Yep, he's hungry. 26 He can start getting some food. $30. He can get a pub lunch. He can get a chicken palmy. Oh, he's going for a steak sandwich. He's going for a bloody ribeye. Oh, $40. $42. What a big day at the office. That's not bad for an eight hour day. How much is that per hour? 42 divided by eight. Don't know if he took a lunch break. Let's not worry about that. Like five to $6 an hour, not bad. Fade to black, like your spermatoza. 